What's up guys, nice to see you on my channel, hope you're doing well and today DJI finally released their second iteration of Mavic Air, Mavic Air 2 and today we'll talk a little bit what they presented, so let's get started! <laughs> So and first let's talk a little bit about the body. Body and form factor of the drone will be reminding you Mavic Pro 2 because they take the same design from Mavic Pro 2 and trying to implement this in a little bit smaller form factor in Mavic Air 2. So that's pretty good I can say, it, it works for me at least. Next one let's talk a little bit about the price. Price started from $899 if we're talking about standard kit, if we're talking a little bit more about fly more combo that is $1100. I think it's pretty good price and pretty fair. Mavic Pro 2 costs right now like $1400, something like that, and that is already old drone and that is a fresh version of Mavic Air 2, so that is pretty good. And right now let's talk a little bit why you should pay for this drone $899, so specs. First of all it can record, it will be able to record 8K hyperlapse video, so that is a perfect opportunity for you to create amazing hyperlapse in 8K. It will be required a little bit bigger SD card, but I think it's not will be the problem. Second of all, it can record 4K with a 60 frames per second, which is amazing opportunity for you to create a nice cinematic video. If we're talking about like photography or videography and etc., that means it will be quite a lot of opportunity with uh, such good quality. And you can, on the post-production, you can slow down a little bit the picture just to make sure that it looks smooth enough for you. DJI presented also HDR, high dynamic range in this drone, that is, will be perfect opportunity for you to get as much colors as you can from the picture. Additional one, this drone will be capable of transmission of 1080p in a range of 10 km which given you huge opportunities to control the drone and fly in some places which is hard to get but at the same time like not so far away and your drone can get it there with the range of 10 kilometers I think it's pretty good that mean you can fly far far away from your destination that mean where you are right now of course if we're talking about fly time it's 34 minutes I think on the paper it's 34 minutes but in reality it will be 29 minutes or 30 maybe something like that because it's normally like on the paper it's always the best condition which can be presented but we all know that conditions right now when you fly and can be different so I put my thoughts that it will be like 29 minutes something like that if we talk about the sensor if we're talking about photography that is 48 megapixel sensor which giving you great opportunity to get a great picture with the quality of amazing mirrorless camera additional one for this drone will be available two sets of ND filter if you want immediately start creating some cinematic footage and you want to make sure that you have everything so DJI also presented two sets of the different ND filters which can help you to create a nice footage one more thing which of course presenting this drone it's obstacle avoidance because previously it was let's say a little bit limited one right now they presented the same system which they have in uh, Mavic Pro 2 but a little bit let's say improved that is obstacle avoidance can help you to like not hit some trees mountains etc whatever you will find on the flight direction of your drone so I hope it will be working pretty good so from this perspective I really thankful DJI for saving money because a lot of us crash the drone when they fly first time I hope it not happens with the Mavic Air 2 so that is a perfect opportunity with the update of DJI Fly More app they also presented new active tracking 3.0 which also help you to create high dynamic picture so from this perspective you can use this like example to record yourself and active tracking you when you like driving with a car or with a bike or you just want to record some highly dynamic object that is a perfect opportunity I can say it from this perspective that all specs which presented for us DJI today and already available one in-depth review on YouTube channel of Momentum so I'll put link in the description and you can check this out that means in-depth review of this drone I hope guys you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe on my channel if you like what I'm doing and of course see you in the next video already pretty soon don't forget to leave comment down below and tell me what you think about this drone yeah because it's quite interesting update specifically in our times when everyone locked down I hope it will be really amazing drone so yeah guys, see you in the next video, really pretty soon, take care, bye!